So when I think about past experiences that fueled my passion for a better future of health, I really reflect on my breast cancer diagnosis back in 2013. I'm proud to say I've been eight years cancer free, but living through a breast cancer experience and journey um, really gave me different perspectives around healthcare overall, both as a professional and really as a patient. I actually um, went in for my annual exam and um, they, they found a lump and I thought it was nothing. I thought that's fine, it's not gonna be a big deal. And you know, she confirmed that I did have cancer diagnosis. I think the most frustrating part about it was that she should have been more prepared with more detailed information that would have helped me really understand the situation. You know, I consider myself to be pretty knowledgeable as it relates to the healthcare system, but until you really live it, you don't appreciate that or, or really understand how challenging it can be in making those decisions. It was a cold Saturday in February, probably 2014, and I was reflecting on how blessed I was to kind of be through my journey. And I got on the internet and I searched breast cancer support, cancer support, and Gilda's Club of Metro Detroit came up. And I literally emailed the CEO and said, you know, I'm a survivor, I'm a partner at Deloitte, I would love to um, join your organization and support you. And during that time, I actually was um, a, in an event called Bras for a Cause. And so you basically have donors and sponsors help raise money for breast cancer. And then we also um, do a modeling of these bras. It's out there on the internet if you wanna see it. <laughs> Once I had my own breast cancer experience, I think it really just made me a more empathetic person. It made me really think about what's important, whether it's um, my well-being or that of my you know, colleagues and those individuals working with me or for me. I actually just counseled another woman who was facing a decision around a lumpectomy and radiation or a double mastectomy. I determined that a double mastectomy gave me more comfort and this um, professional ended up making the same choice. Her experience, it sounds like it was so much less painful. So I'm grateful that there has been advancements. If you think about it, some of these treatments are a little bit barbaric. So the more we can do to advance technology and use you know, digitization and, and really ease the pain on the patient, I think we'll continue down that path and it will be an awesome future of health. So when I think about my daughter, I am proud to say that I think because of her experiences with interacting with my doctor and my disappointment, she actually, in her third year of medical school, just finished up a family medicine rotation and they really raved about her bedside manner and how thoughtful she was in approaching her patients. So I hope that in some way, um, I, my experience positively influenced her and will pay it forward to other patients when she's a doctor.